It's a family affair in the blind. I'm Matt Drury and this is another edition of Nomad's Cutting Room Floor. No doubt that the only thing better than taking down a giant whitetail in the field is the joy of sharing that hunt with loved ones. And that's exactly what the mad scientist had on the menu when he and his sister Barb took to the muddy blind in hopes of seeing an Iowa monster. With two separate sits, it's sure to be a dear Simber to remember. You look good, Barb. I'm ready. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited, excited for you. I can't wait to get out there and see those deer in that field. Barb's gonna go out. She's got the best guide in the world with Wade. But we're gonna see if she can't put an exclamation point to phase 12. Terry already has one down. Taylor's got one down. Now, if you could conclude this phase with a big old Iowa buck, how exciting would that be? That would be so exciting for me. I just can't wait. <laughs> I, I wish you the best of luck tonight, sis. Thank you. Kill a big one, would you? That. So here I am up on Mark's farm. I'm so excited. He's off in another uh, spot tonight, and I'm here with cameraman Wade, which I've hunted with him before, and I'm really excited. Mark said, whatever makes you happy, Barb, so. Whatever makes me happy, just think. <laughs> I can get my choice tonight. Yes, you can. He's always so good to us girls letting us come up and hunt. And uh, we just appreciate the opportunity so much. If I just see deer out on the field, I'll be happy. Now, if I can take one home, I'll be a lot happier. <laughs> so I'm real excited. That's one of the features I love about this Defender the most, is that dump bed feature. This is an area that I can't really get to in a truck, where we could have shoveled it out, so I filled the bed, and then came back in here and just used the dump bed right in front of my camera. This should end up being some great pictures. This is a cove where a lot of deer come out every year. I want to make sure the reconnex is firing, let this go, check it in about three weeks.
got so close last night. Oh, so, so close until that truck came barreling <laughs> through the gravel road and just spooked them all right off the field. Anyway, tonight, where we're going, beautiful setup, one of my favorite all-time late season spots. We have killed some giants out of this blind on this field, and it is one of the most beautiful views you could ever see on the setting sun. It is gorgeous. Oh, I love the scenery. I thought where I was last night was just absolutely gorgeous. Better luck next time, Aunt Barb. I just know that one of those Iowa Giants is gonna find its way on your wall sometime soon. Next up, we're gonna join the old man winner, my pops, and see what being a gamekeeper is truly all about. Our temperatures have warmed up a little bit. The wind has, uh, has subsided somewhat. We've still got a little bit of a, a breeze, albeit a southwest today. We're going to a spot that we have not hunted all year. Last night we had a, a pretty good sit, and uh, just as we were getting ready to close the deal, it, uh, the whole herd just took off. It's, it looked like a mass exodus for whatever reason. And this time of year, it doesn't take but uh, little or no excuse for them to clear a field, and that's what we saw last night. So maybe tonight will be a little bit different. yearlings out here right now one of them looks like it it either has like bailing twine or some type of wire or something wrapped around its foot it's really really limping its foot is swollen so we're thinking about going ahead and taking it number one I want to see how the 2.3 does on the fang but number two more or less because I don't I don't I don't feel right with it trying to it's limping really bad right now and that foot is this big around about that high up, so. Absolutely devastating. <laughs> Absolutely devastating. I mean, to tell you, that was a 2.3 extreme, rage extreme. Zip through like hot butter. Now I will say that it was quartering away, or just slightly quartering away, so it was, it was a perfect shot. Ever wonder what goes on inside the brain of a whitetail buck that gets him up and on the move? Well, we've cracked that code and are delivering it to you in the DeerCast app, a revolution in deer movement forecasting. Available now for iOS and Android.
Get ahead of your game with DeerCast. Well, here we are. I wanted to uh, pull both of these does out and, and just talk a little bit about, you know, this management effort that we, we never ever lose sight of the fact that it's still way, way out of whack. Nobody's more assertive or more aggressive than we are about trying to harvest does and get, get our deer density, our deer numbers in check. Uh, this younger one, oddly enough, had, had an injury and she was to the point she couldn't put any weight on it but uh, we elected to go ahead and, and take the young doe and then as the evening progressed we had a really nice buck on the field a little bit later on but uh, he wasn't about to make it up to our position there he had his head buried in that biologic so we said you know what let's go ahead and harvest the doe and we did just that we got a big big adult doe here as well one thing we don't do is we never lose sight of always trying to manage this particular deer herd a lot of fun. We had a great time this evening. Didn't get a buck on the ground, but it didn't matter. We've seen a lot of does the last four or five sittings and said, you know what, let's go ahead and do our part. And we did just that. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV was brought to you by Nomad Apparel.